The Osprey Inn is here. We're back again with another episode in Lewisham on our Cheap Eats Around the World series. Of course, we're in season one, which is Southeast London. And today we're going to be going around Lewisham, exploring all the cheap foods and snacks we can find or under a fiver. My name is Tova. Welcome back to the hack. Something fishy going on. <laughs> so this is something fishy, a fish and chip shop. And they have a breakfast menu, which we can make our own. So we've got mushrooms for £1.20. We've got tomatoes, £1.20. Beans, £1.20. That's £3.60. We've got toast for £1.20, £4.80. And that's it. We've got 20p left, maybe to get some water. And then we have our £5 breakfast. How about that? some free water so we get to keep our 20p but so far breakfast is £4.80 girls can you get breakfast for £4.80 well how about this for breakfast bon appetit bon apple teeth <laughs> toast is great, it tastes like toast. I've just remembered that the butts are under toast. <laughs> I might not be allowed to have. <laughs> you guys can see how diff mm, not difficult. It can be difficult, but we overcome it. Let's try the mushrooms. Mm, mushroom soft. It's tender. It's juicy. Mmm. I don't know if this is oil or this is water in it, but it's succulent and juicy. It bursts in your mouth when you bite into it. Mmm. 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 Mm. English breakfast done vegan. Eh? £4.80 isn't bad at all. I'm not sure how you guys have your breakfast. I like to mix a little bit of everything in one bite. Have a bit of that. Have a bit of that. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now it's a party. Mm. Okay. So we've just found Uncle John's bakery, Buffrets, and this is Ghanaian donuts. Ghanaian donuts. Now they don't look like the regular donuts with the holes in it. They feel more dense as well. So we're going to check the prices at actually £1.20 for some Ghanaian donuts. We're going to add that to the list. What else? This is Chin Chin. I don't know if you guys know about Chin Chin. This is like fried dough. You chop up the dough and then you fry it. Um, we probably won't add this to the list, but this is a recommendation. Whenever you guys are around Woolwich, Lewisham, Peckham, try some Chin Chin. But first today, we're gonna have some Ghanaian donuts. Okay, so I must admit, I was really looking forward to trying the Ghanaian donuts, but it seems to have egg and milk in it. So we'll probably leave this one for Dominic and he can tell you guys how it tastes. In the meantime though, they have an, a whole array of goodies. So here, we have some coconut pastry. It's got sugar, coconut, ginger, spices, flour, butter. They've got sugar buns, which also has sugar and water and margarine and bread fat and coconut turnover. So all these on the here for £1.98, £1.98 and £1.79, all these treats on the two pound. All right, so for four pounds 78, we've managed to snag three things. A pastry filled with coconut, Ghanaian donut, and this beautiful colored sweetness is called Gratta Cake, and it's got sugar, coconut, and loads of other stuff. 
it feels very solid so we'll find somewhere to sit and then we can dismantle these right we've bought a lot of sugary treats for breakfast this is a coconut pastry it smells coconutty mm. Mm. coconut and sugar that's what it tastes like coconut and sugar now we used to make this back home you get coconut you grate it and then you mix it with sugar and then you bake it or fry it and it's just this glob of sweets that 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 feeling when you bite into it, it's like oh that's too much sugar <laughs> all right the pastry the pastry is dry and it's fairly sweet as well i don't know if that's coming off the coconut or the pastry itself but i think together they work well together probably not for breakfast though maybe for lunch or snack good one one pound 79 next on the list gratta cake which also looks very sugary oh that looks like just solid sugar that is thick condensed and tough this is the one we used to make at home this is just pure sugar pure sugar and coconut you mix sugar and coconut and you just bake it and it's just this so like i said earlier probably not for breakfast but as a treat crack on one pound 79 right so next up on the list is thai house which is a mobile kitchen with ridiculous prices two pound for a small chow mein where have you ever heard this and then for large is three pound and get this come and see the size of their spring rolls <laughs> one pound each look at the size of that this is the ultimate hack for lewisham wherever you are come and check the thai kitchen out <laughs> So three pound for a large box of chow mein and fried rice. Now this is vegetarian or vegan. Um, if you choose to have meat on it, the price increases to five pound. Now this beast of a thing for one pound, this is supposedly spring roll. I've never seen a spring roll this size. I'm, I'm excited to find out what goodies are inside of it. <laughs> so, it's not like the regular spring roll that's wrapped in like a thin film of maybe pastry. This one is packed thick. The fillings are packed thick and then the batter is thick as well fried. It feels like battered like fish or something. But for that size, one pound, that's pretty decent. Now chow mein, I love my chow mein. Mm, amazing this is more al dente i would say it's not as soft as other chow mein's. it gives it more bite to it it gives it more structure to it it's got the carrots but the vegetables delicious now we're gonna do a magic trick here we're gonna try and eat some rice with the chopsticks <laughs> i'm not sure how it's supposed i think you're supposed to do it like this when I do that in Chinese restaurants, I get mad creds. They're like, oh, who is this guy? How does he know to eat it like this? <laughs> All right, next on the list. Let's keep exploring. All right, so we're taking a trip to the Mediterranean with Mimos. Now they have Halloumi wraps and boxes from four pound for medium and five pound for large. 
which I think are regular prices. So I'm more interested in the box. I wanna fill it with some salads, some potatoes, some onions, and some beautiful falafel, some soft breaking falafel. So, hi mate. Okay. Can I have the box please? Yeah, of course you can. Okay. Medium or large? Medium please. Yeah. We're on a budget, so we have to stick to the medium. Four pounds. Now falafel has to be a staple dish in this country by now. There's nowhere you can go without finding falafel. Now this is done slightly different. That's why we decided to add it to the video. So we have a falafel skewer with five falafels on there. So we've got some potatoes, we've got some cabbage, we've got some onions and tomatoes, some hummus and falafel. Mm. You know what? The sauce elevates it. The sauce makes it stand out from other falafel. Because once you've had falafel, you've had falafel. So it's about what else they can do to it or combine with it to make it more. And it's just burger sauce and ketchup. But again, with the sauce, I don't know if I'm allowed to have it. Still, we roll. Mm. Mm. Now it does look like a mess to eat, but it's part of the experience. The vegetables are cold, the salads are cold. But funny enough, it, it just works well. It's like having a cold sandwich at Tesco. You think cold sandwich might not be great, but then you bite into it, you're like, ah. Oh. You've got the cold of that and the hot of the falafel. Combine it together, you get balance. Equilibrium. <laughs> Mm. Where can you find Indo Sri Lankan cuisine in London? Lewisham. And they have a whole array of foods for you. Now, for the morning special, they have some interesting picks, which look fairly economical. Three pound 99, three pound 50, another three pound 99. Now, I'm not sure what any of these are or what they taste like, but I'm very curious. I'm open to try it and they're in budget, so we can't complain. We'll probably fall into the lunchtime special for 4 99 They also have the dinners for six pounds, so we're heading there, we'll see what we can get. We'll try some new foods. That's the whole point of the experience, isn't it? All right, so my first taste of Sri Lankan food, we have this platter of gorgeousness called idli. So it hasn't been served with any cutlery, so I'm guessing this is finger food. So let, let's get stuck in. We'll start with the white one, which is fairly, it's like fluffy, but also sticky at the same time. It's savory. It has a little sour taste to it. And I'm guessing you have to dip this in one of these. Hmm. As you can tell, I'm, I'm getting stuck in already. I'm getting comfortable with it. Hmm, <laughs> okay. This is freestyle as I'm going. So I'm just picking one, dipping it, see what works. It's hot, it's soft and fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside. It has a savory flavor. And then when you dip it in this, actually, let me try this. Oh. Mm, this is coconut. It's like savory coconut. I'm guessing it's maybe cut up and blended and made in a savory way. So you add both together, there's a spice coming from something. I don't, I think it might be that. 
But you can feel the spice in the background. It's like just telling you, um, um. <laughs> it's delicious so far. I can't complain. Mm. I'm trying to. Ooh, ooh. It is very hot. It's very hot. I'm used to spice, so I can handle this. But anyone else, as you can see, <laughs> the tops are blowing. <laughs> I like this. This is like a crispy, savory, donutsy pie texture slash consistency. It has some onions in it and some vegetables, and it's just nice and fluffy and savory. It tastes good. Now, when you dip it in the coconut, the flavors are just bouncing around in your mouth. This reminds me of bean cake. I think this might be grounded up beans and fried. I think it's fried beans. Okay, so now we have an ingredients list. <laughs> okay, so this is coconut chutney, tomato chutney, samba, and um, bitterly. Italy. It, oh, Italy, yeah. That's the whole meal. <laughs> It takes some getting used to the names, but the flavors are there. Oh, my stomach is screaming. I say, Toba, please stop eating. <laughs> but we've just found a nice little kiosk selling some fruits and vegetables, and I can't leave Lewisham without trying sugar cane. Now, sugarcane is a childhood memory for me, and I'd like to introduce you guys to it. So it's eight pound a kilo, and for two pound, you can probably get two or three sticks of this. And then we'll ask the lovely man to help us shave it and cut it, and then we'll introduce you formally to sugarcane. Here we have it. Sugar cane. Now, if you're thinking why it's called sugar cane, yes, this is what sugar is made from. So, what they do is they gather loads of these, they squeeze the juice out of it, then they add the crystallizing substance to give it that feel and look that sugar has. But this is the origin of sweetness. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. It just bursts. But it, you see, the flavor of this isn't as strong as sugar. You are chewing on wood, but sweet, juicy, succulent wood that once you bite into it, you just get a burst of sweetness. Sweet, natural juice into your mouth. And then they take that, then they make sugar. All right, so here's a quick tutorial. You get the sugar cane, you peel the back, you bite into it. You get a burst of sweetness in your mouth, but the cane is still there. So you chew on the cane and suckle on it, squeeze all the sweetness out of it, and then this is what you have left. The cane without the sugar. Then that you can chuck away or maybe compost. Now we got this whole lot for £2.80, so it's a nice little snack for when you're out and about. All right, so we've had loads of fun here at Lewisham exploring all the cheap eats. We've had Mediterranean food, we've had Sri Lankan food, we've had fish and chips, we've had loads of sweet treats as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have, and I hope you're looking forward to the next episode where we're gonna be exploring Peckham. My name's Toba, and that right there was The Hack. Does this go all the way in? Oh crap. You know what? I feel like I need to introduce you guys to Moi Moi. Oh, why have they done it like this, man? Allow it. <laughs> Man's out here trying to promote the thing, man. <laughs> oh, allow it. What?